going to be discussing the ever-confusing electron withdrawing groups and electron donating groups and the effects they have on generating polarity within molecules. So I have boron trichloride. The chlorine atoms are more electronegative than the boron atom. What it means to be more electronegative is that they have more of an attractive pull on electron cloud density. So they will pull electrons from the boron toward themselves. Well, this is known as an electron withdrawing effect. So you can call the chlorine atoms electron withdrawing groups. Now, from the perspective of the chlorine atom, they are simply accepting electrons from the boron. So electron withdrawing groups are also known as electron accepting groups. The boron is less electronegative than any of the chlorines. So it does not have the power to pull electrons toward itself. Instead, it allows its electron cloud density to go toward the electron withdrawing groups or toward the more electronegative atoms. Therefore, it is known as an electron donating group. Because electron cloud density is being shifted toward the more electronegative atoms, the chlorines, and away from the boron in the center, the boron has a partially positive charge, and the chlorine atoms each have a partially negative charge. This is what creates polarity in molecules. So let's use the example of cyanic acid, and we're going to start on the left side. So carbon is more electronegative than the hydrogen which means it has a greater pull on electron cloud density than hydrogen. So it's gonna pull electron cloud density toward it, making carbon the electron withdrawing group, also known as the electron acceptor. Hydrogen, therefore, is known as the electron donating group. Now, let's look toward the right side of the molecule. Nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon, which means nitrogen will withdraw electron cloud density from the carbon, making nitrogen the electron withdrawing group. And in this case, carbon is now the electron donating group. So you see the relativity between electron withdrawing groups and electron donating groups. So now let's talk about polarity in this molecule. So notice there's an overall net movement of electron cloud density toward the right, toward the more electronegative atom, which is nitrogen. Nitrogen, having most of the electron cloud density around him, will obtain a partially negative charge. On the other end of the molecule, where there is less electron cloud density, there will be a partially positive charge. And because of this, one end of the molecule is partially positive, the other end is partially negative, there's a net polarity pointing toward the nitrogen, the more electronegative atom. This molecule is polar. Simple as that.